What's up, Brody pals? It's Roman Rich. Good to see you back again. So, what I have for you today is an old road video. You're going to really love it. Um, it's going to be really simple, uh, old school documentary style, not a lot of special effects or anything. It's going to be kind of lengthy, but I think you'll enjoy it. And, and the whole reason why I'm doing this is to honor uh, an old acquaintance of mine uh, who just passed recently about two months ago. His name was James Bond. And, uh, and I'll provide some links to his work here in just a little bit. But he was an amazing researcher. And if you've ever heard of the website called bridgehunter.com, he's one of the men that was in charge of putting that website together and maintaining it. So <clears throat> we have a lot to thank him for, all his contributions and everything. But he was also an avid hiker, uh, bridge enthusiast, and he also loved old pathways and roads too. And so about a year ago, James told me, hey Rich, uh, in case you never uh, saw this before, there's uh, the oldest paved section of highway in Missouri, down in southeast Missouri. And it's along a corridor that I've traveled probably a couple hundred times in my life. I used to drive this way with my mom going to Kentucky, and as a kid, I do seem to remember seeing some segments of road um, out the window because when I was a kid, we didn't have DVD players and stuff to keep us occupied while traveling. So uh, at any rate, let's jump right into it. Before we show you the video, though, I'm going to kind of give you an overview of the map because I know a lot of you out there are going to want to go see this piece of road. And there's also a cool bridge to, to see as well. So uh, let's jump right into it and uh, get started. Okay, so this is Charleston, Missouri. I'll zoom out a little bit here so you can kind of get an idea of where we're at. Uh, Charleston, Missouri is in the southeast kind of boot heel of Missouri near um, Illinois and Kentucky. And uh, Cairo, Illinois is the route we're going to focus on today. This old highway used to go from Charleston up to Cairo, Illinois. And this is before any of the modern highways we see today like 62 or 57 or any of those this is this is the original path through the area and so then i'll take a visit over here to james's blog site uh, right here and, and just real quick if you want to look him up here's how you spell his name b-a-u-g-h-n he still has a lot of great stuff that you can visit and check out and go research for yourself he was really avid in, in trails and roads and bridges and hiking and all sorts of great stuff but, uh, okay, so let's see here. Drive the oldest concrete highway in Missouri. Now, he gives you some great instructions. This post here, this blog, was from 12 years ago, 2009. And you'll see if you, once you get to the video that things have changed considerably. And he goes on to say that this was constructed roughly about 100 years ago. And there's the bridge. Yeah, let me uh, zoom in a little bit here for you all so you can see a little better. There you go. So he's got some maps and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so get it, if you get a chance, go check out his blog site. It's uh, semissourian.com slash blogs, blogs, sorry, and uh, pavement ends. You can see it right up here. I'll provide links to this in the YouTube channel at the end so you can just click on it and go find it. All right, so back to the maps. So James gives us some directions. I'm going to provide them here. Now, just keep in mind that this was 12 years ago. Some of the road names have changed. But you're going to leave out of Charleston on 62. And this is the path that the old original highway would have taken. But it's been since upgraded to modern standards. Uh, but once you get up to Highway JJ, and I'm going to switch over to satellite view. I want you to keep something in mind real quick. Um, one of the tips that I'll give you for exploring roads, um, sometimes I'll talk about looking for cemeteries and things like that. In this case, I want you to pay real close attention to this feature right here. You can kind of see an outcropping of a long sweeping turn right here. And this, this is kind of indicative of what you'd find on the archaic highways. They'd have these long sweeping turns. Um, because that was the highway. You wouldn't have a straight intersection, a straight 90 degree turn. And you'll see that as we head south. So we're going to turn south on JJ Highway. And we're going to go down a couple miles to one of the first major paved roads. Now again, here we have that long 
sweeping turn onto Farm Road 320, right there, okay? That is our road. We, we're not going to see it yet because, unfortunately, uh, the highway department down there has paved over the old concrete. It just got to be in such bad shape they've paved over it. But you do see some pictures on James's site. Now, once we get going east here, we're going to come to another long sweeping turn right here. You want to go up this direction, kind of northeast, and you're going to see on Google Maps that they call it Old Highway 60. I'm sure it is Old Highway 60, but before that it was, you know, I think what, 17 is what he calls it, or 14. Let's see here. What does he call it? I'm good at finding roads. I'm just not great at retaining the information associated with them. Uh, known as 7A. And I don't see a highway number associated with that unless that was it, 7A. But we're going to... We're going to keep on the hunt right here. So, again, going up this old Highway 60, sweeping up through town, it turns into Main Street, and then it turns right. Again, look at these long sweeping turns. And then it's going to go this way. So, at this point, Main Street comes to an intersection of HH and EE. Now, we don't really see any long sweeping turns here, so it's safe to assume that the road kept going down HH, and you'll find out that it does. We're going to keep going east, and then now you have this long sweeping turn, and then look, now we've got the concrete. Maybe we can get a street view. We cannot. There's no street view there. But this is concrete. If I took away the labels, which I can do, maybe, let's see here, labels. Now you can see the concrete a little bit better as we head north. Now I'll turn the labels back on just so that you all can follow along a little bit better. All right, we're on road 307. This would be county road or farm road 307. It's going to go up north, and you're going to again have a nice long sweeping turn here, and it's going to continue east again. And you'll see areas here have been kind of covered with a tar and chip or gravel mixture just to kind of sustain the, the road surface. And again, long sweeping turn going up north with this concrete. And you'll see the vegetation start to uh, creep in here and encroach on the concrete. And there's a reason for that. And you're going to find out in the video when we get to it here. I just want to show you all the path that uh, right here, there's a bridge. You can just see the faint outlines of the trusses right through here. And it's a wood deck bridge. Here's a body of water, and this is a creek. So that's why we see more uh, persistent vegetation through these areas, because vehicles aren't driving on it as much. And this is interesting. You'll see right here where the roadbed goes up underneath modern 62, which is also a levee. And then it peaks back out right through here. So you go across the levee, across 6062, and just keep going straight. And then, again, we turn into some a mix of asphalt, and tar and chip, but the concrete's still there underneath it. Uh, it's just that this road gets more use, and so they've got to uh, resurface it regularly to keep it sustainable. So again, sweeping turn, we're gonna go to the right down this K road. We're gonna go up this way, and then you'll notice where that kind of comes back over into 62. But then if you keep going straight, here again we have the concrete. And so here's where we go towards the end. This goes through a farm field, which I drove through. You'll find out just shortly. And it stops right here at the river. And this, this is the confluence point of the uh, Mississippi and Ohio River right in this area here. This is kind of where they all come together. you got the Ohio River and the Mississippi River. And if you ever cross through here, it's just huge. It looks like you're going across an ocean. But you got Kentucky, Illinois, and Missouri. So that's it for that. Let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and, and jump right back into the video. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, thanks for uh, watching so much so far. I hope it's been educational. Now we get to the good stuff. Old Concrete Highway, predecessor to Highway 62 down near Wyatt, Missouri. Found this friend of mine and fellow bridge enthusiast, 
James Bond. And supposedly there's a bridge around here someplace, but I'm not quite sure exactly where it is. Allegedly, that's the reason why this section of road remains the way it does because a good, well, a significant portion of it has been paved over with asphalt. Supposedly, this is in its original form because of the bridge and its light load limit. So trucks and big machinery aren't using that bridge. steel truss bridge, tiny, you know, little like pony truss bridge. Uh, I'd love to see it. Hopefully it's still in existence. starts getting thicker and thicker in the road, which means it's not traveled much beyond here. This is good, cheap fun. Just going out and exploring in your backyard. You never know what you're going to find. cool too. This was pretty innovative for back then. This is, I think this was the first paved highway in Missouri when this was put in. I believe it was around 1919 or something like that. I believe that's when this was paved in concrete. Really hard Portland cement. It's hard to beat that material. You don't see it used very often today, you know high concentration of Portland cement, mostly it's a mixture of stuff now, they call concrete. Lots of purple swallows out today, eating up bugs probably. My hand's starting to get tired of holding the camera up. Apologize for any bobbling. Uh, coming up to another transition up here, maybe there's that bridge. Well, See, there's a couple houses up here. A couple nasty bumps. Uh oh, the road looks like it might be coming to an end. No bridge. Is there a bridge? Old buildings over here. Uh, oh, there is a bridge. The bridge is there. Fantastic. Well, it's closed. That's okay. Better to be closed than non-existent, if you ask me. Although, I, I tell you, that's not much of a pile of gravel. Blazer would dry right over that. No problem. Let's go check it out. Really cool. This hasn't been driven on for a long time. I don't know what this stuff here is called below me. But it's like, it, it looks like poop. And it kind of, walk when you walk on it, it's really squishy too. It's like some sort of a fungus or mold or I don't know. It's really gross. So we've got a wooden deck bridge, as James has explained on his blog. You can go and find that blog. I found it very easily today simply by Googling um, old concrete highway near Charleston, Missouri. That's exactly the Google search that I looked at. And it brought it up the first result. So we've got this old wooden deck bridge 
and I'm, I'm fairly certain the old adventure truck could uh, come across this very easily, but out of respect, I'm not going to because I want to see this bridge stay here and people start doing stunts like that, that's when they start taking these things out. So better to be here enclosed than, uh, than not. And uh, it'd be my luck I'd get on here and the wooden deck would collapse and then I'd be out of blazer and I'd be responsible for damaging a bridge. <laughs> I, I don't want to be that guy. So it still has its tag. It's covered with little lichens. And it looks like it says Missouri Highway Department Bridge number 59, 1921. It's a pretty old bridge. Just a little pony truss. Yeah, probably not a good idea to be crossing this with a vehicle. Not, not a heavy vehicle, at least. The blazer's not real heavy, but it's not light. Missing some other deck boards over here. Yep, wouldn't take much to crack those old rotten boards. Here's another sign over here, make sure it don't fall in. Same thing, with less growth on it. You can see the water down below is pretty high. Supposedly they had about three inches of rain in the last 24 hours, so it's a lot of water. Maybe we can spot some turtles. I'm, I'm surprised, I'm really surprised that there's lack of a more defining barricade here, you know, like a piece of guardrail or jersey wall or something. Just a little pile of rock doesn't really do much. So, I don't know, if it was me and it was a bridge that I was trying to prevent people from getting on, I would put a jersey wall or something up there, but that's just me. I don't, I don't see any turtles. That water's pretty nasty. Looks like somebody else made a little makeshift bridge or something over there. I don't know why you do that, but I don't know what that is exactly. Somebody's creative attempt at putting some sort of a crossing over there. So, yeah, pretty neat bridge, old wood deck. I'm pretty happy to see it. Oh, and then you're, there you can see the continuation of the highway as it heads, I believe, east? I don't, I don't know, I can't tell what direction I'm in right now. I wasn't paying attention to the map. So, yeah. Yep, cool bridge. It actually looks to be in decent shape. I'd say they probably closed it because of the condition of the wood deck. Not, not that bad of a looking bridge there. I know I've crossed worse. Well, that's my adventure today in southern Missouri. I know you enjoyed this video and I know you're gonna do me a favor and you're going to share this video, aren't you? Yes, you're going to share this video. Well, down there is the section that continues on to the east from the bridge. Let's go check it out and see if we can find some more. Modern US 62. And I thought maybe there might be another bridge possibly up ahead. So they kind of they kind of put gravel and millings and stuff over this concrete. I don't know if they sprayed it with oil or anything. It doesn't, it doesn't appear that they have. But I don't know why. Maybe they thought this would be better. <laughs> just, just put a bunch of gravel over the top of that concrete road. That'll make it better. Uh, I don't know. But that's what they did. You can kind of still see the cracks 
Uh, I did pave over it over here. This is asphalt. And then that's gone for a little bit, and then that's back for a little bit. There must have been a culvert back there that they removed and replaced. So the concrete's still there. It's underneath this asphalt and now gravel. We're going to go up ahead a little bit and see if we can find more. Um, I could have swore I saw a bridge on Google Maps kind of leading to, the, I guess, what maybe used to be a ferry or something. I'm not really sure. There's more online about this. I just remember talking to James Bond about this whole road some years ago and never got a chance to get down here, but I was in the neighborhood and thought, I'll check it out. But I didn't go back and read through his blog real carefully because I'm kind of pressed for time, like always. Now, I think we're going to have to turn here. The road goes this way. You can see the sweeping turn goes this way. Let's see if we can pick back up on some cracks. Yeah, there does seem to be cracks that match up with the concrete. Yeah, there's concrete. I just saw a piece. There's concrete underneath this. So this is still the road going back towards the east. We're going to probably find a dead end here is what we're going to end up with. Guaranteed. Now we're going to hit an incline. So this road should disappear, this incline, I would think. Uh, there's still some bumps and stuff. I feel like concrete. This still seems like concrete underneath this. I don't know now. Now I'm not so sure. Probably gonna see no trespassing. What do we got here? Oh no! What do we got over there? That's still a section of road over the top of this levee. Got to switch hands. I, now this, I recognize this. You, if you look at James Bond's blog post, he actually has this in the blog post. So this doesn't get driven on at all, but you can see that it's sustained a lot of damage, probably from levee construction or things of that nature, who knows what. But look how straight that line is. Look off to the left of your screen, you can see how straight that road is. I mean, what an amazing job they did. I mean, back then, they didn't do things just good enough. They did things to the best of their ability. And I'm trying to drive to my the best of my ability and hold this camera to the best of my ability um, and it's a pretty rough road so I'm gonna stick the camera out the window it's gonna be a little noisy but it might put some music on See it to the left. That's a culvert pipe. That's the original culvert. And we're gonna hit woods up here. I, I really think there might be a, a bridge up here, but I'm not sure. Might have to get out and take a look. There's trails going through the woods. As long as the blazer can get through and get back out again, I'm I'm all for it. Go go adventure truck. We're gonna go into the woods here. It's just good because I'm catching the glare off my dashboard. Oh, we not have so much glare. Still on concrete, folks. This is still the original highway. What I believe, according to online resources, the oldest paved highway in Missouri. This is it right here. Oldest paved highway in Missouri. Structure of some sort right there. What is that? Oh, it's a, it's a deer stand. What is that? Some sort of a tower. Uh oh, I'm getting in the mud. I think that's the end of the road. There was no bridge. But I think, I don't know, I'd have to do the research, but maybe you could find it. I'm in some pretty sloppy mud now. I, I really can't go any further. I don't see why I should because I think the concrete ended. I'll back up a little bit. I think the concrete is done. But I don't think it goes any further. It turns into some really sloppy mud. Like I said earlier, they had like three inches of rain yesterday. 
Yeah, look here. I mean, the concrete's there, I'm sure. I'm not sinking. I can see some stone under the tires <clears throat> from the concrete, but I don't think it goes any further because there's the river. Look past that structure. That's the river. See it flowing. So the end of this road may have been a ferry at one time. I think that's what James had alluded to in his blog post that this area was a ferry. There was a ferry landing where you would uh, get on board a ship with your vehicle and it would take it across over into Kentucky. So, or Illinois, maybe. I'm not sure where I'm at. This might be Illinois. I came off of a ferry to get here from Kentucky, but I think over there is Illinois. There's like a big confluence here between Illinois, Missouri, and Kentucky. So, not even sure what river that is. That might, let's see here. Let's look. That is, okay, that is that is Illinois, and that is the Mississippi River. I thought maybe it was the Ohio, but that's the Mississippi River over there. And uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing... Judging by where I'm at on the screen here, on uh, Google Maps, I, I cannot drive any further, and that road doesn't seem to go off to the left or right, just stops. So I'm guessing this would have been a ferry landing at one time. So there you have it, the oldest section of paved highway in Missouri. I don't think it's the oldest remaining, I think it was the oldest, the first paved highway in Missouri still intact you can still drive it you should drive it come on out just don't drive your 18 wheeler on it or something silly like that or something really heavy just drive your car or minivan whatever you have on it and enjoy it take pictures share it and share this video while you're at it that would be helpful I, I always enjoy when people share my videos because I get to help kind of spread history across the world for people to, to understand and for entertainment value so all right I'm Roman Rich. As always, go your own way. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. And uh, tell your friends about me. Thanks a lot. Drive safe. See you down the road. All right. So it wasn't that great. I thought it was a great time getting to go out there and check out that old slab of pavement. No, it's not Route 66. But these old highways are still really cool. And they've got lots of history surrounding them. And it's cool just to get out there and imagine what things were like. 100 years ago when people were were jaunting across the country you know we take a lot of things for granted today uh, just going over 35 miles an hour is a real luxury compared to what people had 100 years ago and so that's the kind of stuff i think about when i go out there i think about no air conditioning uh, low speeds vehicles that consumed lots of oil persistent flat tires just lots of adventures just to travel a few miles across the country. And it was a real privilege for them to have a paved surface, not mud or, or dirt or something else. So uh, I hope you enjoy that. And uh, as always, make sure you share my videos. Hit subscribe if you're the first time coming here. I love doing these for people. and I love bringing the world to my subscribers. It just uh, thrills me. Do me a favor and leave a couple comments. Uh, I love reading your comments too. And uh, as always, share the videos and be sure to go your own way. I'll see you down the road next time.